Hello, boys and girls. Today I'd like to share a book called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving by Dave Pilkey. Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. O'er rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road there arose such a clatter, they threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and ate tiny turkey. And a little old man so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Ollie, now, Stanley, now, Larry and Mo. On, Wally, on, Beaver, on, Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces, and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew. And they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door, and she asked Farmer McNugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, cried McNugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned, to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old Mac Nugget and waddled away. They limped to the school bus and huffing and puffing, it's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, Mac Nugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful. The turkeys were most. So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. And I want to wish all of you a very happy Thanksgiving and I'll let you know how thankful we all are to have you and how thankful we are for your teachers and everyone else in our building and your, your families who show so much support every day. Have a wonderful weekend and a very nice Thanksgiving.